Now, a section of Muslim leaders in Nairobi are calling for dialogue among Kenyan leaders in order to have a credible election. They said President Uhuru Kenyatta and Nasser's Raila Odinga should sit down and talk. They were speaking at Jamia Mosque, and our reporter Fatia Nur attended the early morning presser and now joins us from our city centre studio. Good afternoon, uh, Fatia. Perhaps talk to us about which leaders were present at this presser and what were the highlights of what they had to say. Well, a very good afternoon to you, Sharon. Um, we had uh, Dr. Mustafa Ali, who was present at that event, who is an expert in um, conflict resolution. At the same time, we had uh, Dr. Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Zibo, who was the former IEBC commissioner. Now, um, they basically were urging Kenyans to maintain peace during this electioneering period. But at the same time, they were asking President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga to come together for an urgent national dialogue. This is after the political crisis that is deepening in the country at this uh, particular point. But also, they are asking the religious leaders to provide counseling and guidance to the leaders so that Kenyans can maintain peace during this electionary period. All right. Uh, uh, Fatia, and uh, did they have any specific uh, message with regard to the protests that we are seeing, uh, which have been on hold for a number of time, and in terms of peace, because there have been a lot of speculation and a lot of uncertainty in the air with regard to the coming few days and peaceful coexistence among Kenyans. Did I have any message to this regard? Well, they were basically asking for something uh, called peaceful protests, uh, peaceful methods of resolving or addressing issues if they have, specifically for uh, opposition leader Raila Odinga, especially the, the demos that are happening. They were calling for peaceful methods and positive uh, measures uh, that they should take up to air their grievances and something that they don't, that they don't like about it. But also, they also say that the IEBC, uh, the country is looking at the IEBC to, help, to hold a credible and fair elections. This is after the uh, IEBC commissioner, Akombe, resigned earlier in the week and has caused a lot of, um, a lot of um, uncertainty in the country in the October 26th repeat poll that is happening this, is supposed to happen this Thursday. Right. Many thanks, Fatia Nur, who attended that uh, presser by Muslim leaders early this morning. And right now, we just want to listen in to some of what, what they had to say in that particular press conference. We appeal to the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, and right honorable former Prime Minister Raila Odinga to take positive steps to ensure Kenya does not slip down the path of anarchy. Secondly, we appeal especially to the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, to take measures, including dialogue, to ensure that the current challenges facing the country are urgently addressed within the frameworks of the Kenyan constitution, its laws, and for the well-being of the Republic of Kenya. Fourthly, we appeal to Honorable former Prime Minister Right Honorable Raila Odinga, who has fought honorably for this country, to focus on peaceful methods and tools to address the current grievances. We appeal to all political leaders to soften political rhetoric that is otherwise damaging to the Kenyan social fabric. As leaders of this country, you have a solemn responsibility to hold Kenya together. A house divided cannot stand. To the IEBC, the country is counting on you. The country is counting on you, the IEBC, to do all that is in your power to deliver a credible election.